Savage Land. In today's episode, we are going over Stealth Suit Iron Man uh, with his classic comic look, same as the 80 Years uh, Iron Man, and also a new character, I believe, first time in Marvel Legends, Iron Heart, which is a fairly new character. I'm not going to lie to you, I've never written a comic book with her or even seen her in a comic book. Didn't know about her until I seen uh, this sculpt. Um, first, let's go over uh, Iron Man here. It's not too much about Iron Man here. Like I said, he's the same as the uh, 80 Years Iron Man. I like his paint. He's supposed to be stealth, and when I was taking pictures, that dark navy blue almost camouflaged itself to where he almost kind of was like snake eyes. He just kind of blacked out on me, which was pretty dope. And then some pictures were kind of glossy when I shot him. So they did some nice paint. Even though it's very simple, very midnight blue, it's dope. I like the little red... Uh, the red center there, that makes it pop. I, I forgot the name of his little thing he puts in his chest. But uh, he, he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty good. He's a simple character. Like I said, sometimes simplicity is the best way to go. Don't try to overdo it. Um, he's got the nice dark blue boots there, which look awesome. And like I said, he, he, he's glossy in his own way. Even though he's dark. He's a good looking character. As far as his face sculpt, this classic Tony Stark. That looks amazing. It really does. I like that. I like when I had it on, on him. It looked good. It didn't look wonky. There's a lot of Tony Stark's uh, face sculpts that looks like, eh. But that, that looks like classic 1980s, 70s, almost kind of Tony Stark. I give it more of the 80s look. As um, far as her articulation, he has real good articulation on him. He can hit the T poses. He has his, his pretty much, he can do a T. He can actually do a good T pose. Boy, my hands are ashy. I'm sorry about that, but like I said, I just rushed in here after work, man. Sometimes it ain't enough time in the day. But bear with me because it's not about my hands. It's all about the toys. So pretty much double-jointed elbows that he moves pretty nice. He's got a, a bicep swivel. Down here, you can see his wrists move. No hinge inside the repulsor hands, which is cool because I guess they're just made for one thing, but it sucks because you don't get a bunch of hands in this pack. As uh, far as his neck rotation he can actually rotate that pretty good definitely go around let me see where it's on a yeah so this is on a ball peg no 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 hinge in this situation which he can he can get busy he can look down pretty good let's see how far he can look up yeah so they made him look up pretty good for flight poses which is decent i wish he can go a little bit more but that's that's decent i, I would say it's kind of decent so far as his uh, ab crunch, he has pretty much the classic ab crunch from the look back. And that kind of helps out with, with the flight pose. So, you know, it looks kind of funky there, but hey, it is what it is. I, I, I didn't really have a problem posing him. As uh, far as his leg articulation, he has the thigh cut. Double jointed knees. That look really good. Oh, he also has a boot cut, too. I didn't really see it there. So he's, it's camouflage in his paint. Everything is just kind of like a 
basic monotone color, which is it's still beautiful though. Like I said, ankle rocker is pretty good. You got a broken ankle there. Comes in pretty good also. As far as back and forth here. Oh man, way back. And like I said, that's for more of the flight poses, so you can get them, you know, flying, which makes you know total sense here. Uh his bad is he doesn't have any real major accessories come with these repulsor beams. I believe these are it. But if he if he came with some blue ones, I think I think he came with these red ones here. I got so many Iron Mans, I just brought a whole bunch of repulsor beams out. But it's the same old story. You know, nothing different with that. So he only came with two of those. Head scope. And instead of repulsor hands, which he has a set right here, he also has a fist too. So that's the only uh, accessories he came with. The repulsor blast, an extra head scope, and the hands, which is pretty cool, though, because they, they did good on all of them. They didn't really mess up on the small accessories they had. They locked those repulsor hands in, got them straight up. That's how he shoots them. And a fist. This is a rock'em, sock'em type Iron Man. And then they gave you a good head scope, which is, wow. You know, so they, did, they didn't really do any wrong, you know, with that one. Just kind of kept it basic, and sometimes you just got to stick to the to uh, the script and also I came across some type of gooey like film on him like I said I, I it's been pretty cold we actually just had a snowstorm down here well, what we call a snowstorm about three inches of snow in North Carolina and I used the uh, blow dryer you know as soon as I bust him out of the pack and I had some gooey type film on him I don't know if that was a clear coat from him or or, or, or what but I don't know what that was but nothing major I wiped it off and like I said, he's he's good to go now. So that's the only really gripe. He's a solid figure. I give him an A. Just just for being himself, he gets an A. More than anything, I want to talk about this figure. I want to talk about her head skull. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young lady right here. I mean, she looks good. The hairdo, I mean, they slayed it. They they slayed her hair. I mean, she looks good. She looks good. This is the prototype of an African american young african-american girl this looks like almost like how my daughter will look when she grows up i mean that they you know what i'm saying it starts hitting home and that's what I'm, I'm i'm talking about when i'm talking about making african-american uh toys um and just the hair how they facial features looking you know i mean you wanted to be on point just like how they do anything else and they they knocked it out of the park here this is this is amazing this is beautiful they should really win an award just simply uh for that um, they nailed it. They nailed it. They got busy with that, man. Um, but aside from, from the beautiful head scope, uh, she has a sleek body that looks awesome. And then as far as her arms, double jointed arms. When the arm doesn't really have a lot of big muscle build on it, you, you can get some beautiful double jointed arms. Look at that. She flexing on. Uh, uh, uh. Flexing, 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 flexing. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this thing is freaking beautiful. But her body exactly. looks good. It's really sleek. I mean, it's pinless, too. Mm, forgot to, forgot to even... Like I said, pinless really doesn't bother me, but when you're just looking at the aesthetic of a figure and just the beauty of it, and when it doesn't have the pins, I mean, it looks it, look, it looks amazing, man. Like Almost got like a, a candy apple red type paint with the gold. I mean, they really decked her out, you know. And as far as the... Uh, she has an ab cut, which is cool. You know, I mean, especially she's in a metal suit. She's already going to be flexible because she's smaller than Iron Man, you know, being that she's a female. As far as legs, they go out this far. She also has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. And I'm pretty sure her feet go all the way back too for flight, which is, you know, amazing. You know how far her head goes up. But, you know, it can go up pretty decent. They probably could have did a little bit better than that, but it's decent. Like I said, they they knocked this figure out the park. This this figure, to me, is an A+. Paint looks good as far as the gold paint over the candy apple red. I mean, it really looks like metal. Really like she just got this fresh out the paint shop. I mean, it's dope, man. It's dope. She got, oh, yeah, she got a, she got a bicep swivel also. And then she has a swivel right here at the wrist. She only comes with two pairs of hands, just like Tony. She gets the ball fist. And she also uh, gets repulsor beam hands, which are stuck too. They have no hinge, which is cool. Like I said, that's what they're for. So pretty good looking hands. 
And you can see she had the blue heart on those. I mean, those look good. The repulsive hands stuck out for the beams. She has the little smaller blue beams, which look good when the light hits them. And she also has a smoke effect that I didn't use because I just didn't know how to, you know, put it on right. You know, to make to make it look good. Maybe one day I will catch a, capture a shot that makes it look good. But I'm not just going to do something just because it's there if I didn't think it looked good. But, yeah, she has great deco, great paint. Uh, she has no bad to me. She has no bad. This figure is A+. plus. She is A1. She is A1. No, no bad about her. And then, you know, they both came in the same pack to build that Ursa Major, which is awesome. And I think they're just two great figures. I think this was a good set, this Iron Man. I didn't... I didn't get all of it, but I got I got most of it. I got half of it. I'm contemplating on getting an Ultron because, you know, I really just don't care too much for a classic Ultron. But these two, I know I wanted them it, the, the second they came out. Actually, that blue Iron Man, about a month after this wave dropped, I'm like, you know what? That, that looks pretty good. And I ordered him up, and he looked good in the pack, and he looks good now. Ironheart, as soon as I seen her back in March of last year, I, I knew I wanted her. I knew I wanted her. Oh, also, uh, here's her here's her helmet too, which you know you guys of course seen that. It looks like the same uh, sculpt and mold as Rescue, but I'm not too sure because I don't own the Rescue, but it's in that same aesthetic. But uh, two great figures. Uh, Riri uh, definitely gets an A plus. Um, her name is Riri Williams. They gave a gave a good hood name, Riri. And uh, like I said, man, these these figures are great. Uh, she's an A plus plus. Tony, he's an A. Like I said, he's he's pretty basic, but you you wouldn't feel bad buying this uh, figure. I definitely wouldn't re regret it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I have on these guys. Um, we're gonna end this show like we do all shows. Oh, but without me saying, hey, give me a like, a comment, and subscribe. Um, subscribe, subscribe, like, like, comment, comment if you can. I really appreciate you guys uh, just taking the time out if you are watching this just to you know. Have fun with me with my hobby. You know, I got a passion for action figures, and I just want to share it with people. But we're going to end this episode like we do every episode. Uh, when you walk out the door, make sure you're being a person of integrity. Until the next time, God bless.